Just slicing off the top. Have you, have you gotten permission to do any of this? I just know I own it, and I'm gonna cut the top off of it. Have you notified anyone that you're going to cut the top off the building? Uh, the police, uh, the, the 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 fucking county board. Have you gotten it approved? Nah, well, I, I mean I could figure I'd just throw enough money at the fine. The fine, Matt, there's a building next to us. Man, if I knock down Wally's, they'll just rebuild a new one. I don't think you're understanding me quite. Is it legal? We could get in a lot of trouble for you just knocking down walls here. Ah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's it's way above your pay grade. Why don't you, I don't know, like doodle some things, you know? Come up with, them like, you're great at building bombs, for instance. Maybe you should go into that. Right. Uh, okay. Elliot, I, I am going to be 100% with you. I do not think chopping the top of our building off is the best route. 
Well, I've already really decided. And my vote's the only one that really matters around here at the minute. You know? So... So I'm insensitive because I don't listen to people, but you're just righteous because you don't listen to me. Y yeah, 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 pretty much. I mean, if you don't listen to me, our things wouldn't have blown up. If you don't listen to anyone, actually. I'm just cutting the top off of this building. Which won't hurt anyone. But it'll look fantastic. Why would it look fantastic? It's a great view. Yeah, from my office. Let's temper things a little bit. You're overjoyed, which yes means you have control over our brand design and a whole bunch of other little things. But do you really think this is a productive use of our time? Yeah, a, a hundred percent think it's a great use of my time. In fact, I've actually done a lot since I've been here. I've already repaired that blown up animatronic. It took me a while, but they're working, kinda. What do you mean, kind of? Yeah, well, it's not exactly my immediate problem. I'm sure that'll all come to head when it does. But they're not going to blow up again, right? No, 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 no. They're not going to blow up. Why did you say that like you want like a 100% show? I mean... They are not going to blow up. Doesn't mean one can't have a mental breakdown then blow himself up. What the fuck? But anyway, the top of the building's gone. Already got the guys coming over. They're going to knock that shit out. I'm thinking about knocking down that entire back wall. Just expanding it flat. Making a real open concept with it. You know? I don't even feel like we're in the, the same realm of conversation. Did you even tell the employees you were going to knock it down? There's a gaping hole in our shits up there. Well, I sent it. I sent like an email. When did you send the email? Three hours before it's cut off. So they got exactly three hours to get their shit. They have been notified. The door's open. I seen a raccoon run in here earlier. But, yeah, that, that's that's about it. D do you at least think that, that we can talk about you running everything? No, I, I really don't. At the end of the day, Michael, you had a great chance to show that you could do this. Now it's my turn. I just think that you lack certain uh, skills. Yeah, I don't think so. You're about to cut the fucking bloody roof off of our building in broad daylight with no fucking permits with, with not even notifying anyone. I didn't know you were doing this until I seen it. Check your emails. Oh, bloody hell. How the fuck are we related? I ask myself that all the time. But yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, it's safe. I mean... Don't touch the sharp glass, but it's safe. How did you get this down? A hammer. What the? What? The, you're going to? Yeah, you're going to. Just... I am in a good mood. I, I really am. Oh yeah, I heard what John did for you. It was real nice of him. I mean, I don't know how Dad would have felt about it. Yeah, I don't either. But I guess that doesn't matter anymore, right? Like, you, like, do you care? If I go there. In my mind, Michael, you're... How do I put this? I I judge people by how much they can provide. How, how intelligent they are. And how much they can actually challenge me. Like, for the past few weeks, I've been trying to get that idea that he had for that ready unit down, but I just can't. See... And I know you hate me saying it. John said Afton. <laughs> you? I don't know. Now don't get me wrong. I I think somewhere in there, you're you're an intelligent guy. I just don't think we're on the same level. 
But yeah, I don't care if you go. He's He was your dad, too. That's your family. I mean, you knew... You knew th the others better than I did. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't have to be that way, Elliot. Maybe I can tell you about them. Tell you about Mom. And I, and I can tell you about Elizabeth. And Chris. W would you like that? Yeah. Y yeah. That'd be nice. Then, uh, then let's just cut off... Well, then, um, let's just put a pin <laughs> in cutting off the top of our building. Oh, it's happening. It's happening, big dog. This is in motion. Can we at least discuss it more while, while we, we get a drink? Yeah, but I'm not really in the mood for, like, liquor. Well, there's a bloody coffee shop you're gonna topple the top of our fucking building we can go see. Oh, that's a great idea! Oh, goodness. Now, I've been looking over everything, uh, Lefty, and I just don't think it's a good idea for me to keep supplying you. I mean, when you had the other restaurants and I had trucks ready to go, uh, it was a good good way for me to make some easy money. It was a good way to get back, especially to test it. But I, I don't think you can honestly keep affording it without it being devastating to your profits, especially only for two locations. Because, because of the bulk you were able to buy with the others, it, it, it was more profitable for you. Uh, we know that. Uh, and we understand it. However, we have seen an increase in profit because of the better quality food. We've had more to-go orders, more takeout orders. We've had more venues ordered just for people to get the pizza. I mean, when I tell you that we're just not using these ingredients to, to, to show people what we're doing. We're actually creating new menu items. We're actually competing with the other chains of pizza restaurants, which I don't think we were ever considered before. I mean, Spring Body's right. I, I mean, our profits when it comes to the food, even if it costs a little bit more on our end, we make 30% more uh, this quarter off of the food products. Even the other locations have been making more money off their food because we're the only two restaurants right now doing it. I think, uh, I, I, I think in the future as well, since I now own more majority shares in the business and have more control of a direction where it could be heading, uh, I think uh, it's no problem for us to open up more restaurants eventually, soon. I, I think right now, I'd like to keep doing it. Even if I lose money, even if I have to pay you full price for them. I mean, the, these these quality ingredients, they're just not getting thrown away. They're being used, and people are buying it. My restaurant alone, I, I think, went up at least, I want to I wanna say 16. 16 grand, right? Yeah, about 15, 16. Uh, and that was only after a few months of using it. And that was us with advertising in the paper, you know, had a few new commercials go out. And that was just for me. My restaurant's doing extremely well now. And it's based off of the food. I mean, I still make the coin and ticket money, but when I can make that much off of selling people food, I think I'm, I've been thinking about this whole animatronic thing wrong. I mean, people come for entertainment. But at the end of the day, they have to sit through our food, too. Like, I'm noticing your animatronics are just gone. Ah, uh, yeah, they are. They're off for repairs. Don't worry about it. Ah, I didn't like him hitting on you, huh? Yeah, animatronics de developed weirdly, I guess, depending on the owner. I don't know what you were doing to the poor guy. I didn't do anything to him. We're gonna squat. I, I haven't touched him. I haven't looked at him weird. Uh, he came on to me. Yeah, I don't think you can say things like that anymore. God damn it. If you do want to continue buying, the rates will go up. Uh, but if you ever do want to mass produce again, I don't see any problem with that. And I'll go back to the original deal. For now, uh, I'm going to have to go up at least 20% on what you guys have been buying. You'll cut to the profit, but it'll be worth it. I suggest you do the same thing. I suggest every restaurant you own just goes that route. 
you think it's going to be that much of a difference? I know not a lot of things, but I know when I hit something good. Uh, yeah, okay. And I, I genuinely think making these restaurants paddleable, paddle, paddleable? Uh, I think that's the word, yeah. To eat at just makes it better. Don't you want to sit down and eat a nice meal at the end of the day? Uh, well, of course. And, and if you had a family and you took them somewhere like this or anywhere else, you, you want the food to be quality. I mean, we're, we got our brick ovens working nonstop. We got fresh dough being made. With the tomatoes, we're making our own paste. I could send you over the formula that we have created. Are you trying to sell me something again? Hey, I, I mean, you're going up on me. Uh, figured you're not much of a cook. Hmm. Okay. I'll take a look at your numbers, okay? And if I do see that increase in spike in your own custom recipe, obviously, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm a great cook. One thing I had to do at a young age was learn how to cook. And uh, pizza? Second nature. Uh, same with any other dish, but uh, it's about flavor. It's about love. And I know that you don't cook. Twisted my arm, I guess. Then why not go to the uh, Elliot with the idea? Because you don't want to support the whole thing with your, I guess, uh, bankroll. You know? It's asking too much, but if you can profit yourself, uh, better for you. Are you... <laughs> Are you actually saying that you don't care if it helps everyone but you? Yeah. I mean, that's business, right? Uh, I mean, it is. I'll tell you what, Jeremy. If you do want our recipe and you want our idea, uh, you keep us at the same price. And we won't charge you for it. And you can have it. New menu items we create will send to you as well. We won't even take that much of a profit off of them. Oh, you want to take a profit off the food you'd sell? Oh, yeah. Uh, not much, mind you, but dime off of every pizza? Wow! God, and I thought I came in here with a shark mind attitude. I'm impressed. What, did you two coach yourself on the bus ride over here? Well, it was less of a coaching session, more of a hype. Yeah, I mean, we, we gotta hype ourselves up, you know, a little bit. <laughs> you know what? You guys are lucky I'm in a good mood. I'll look at it, okay? I make no promises. Until then, your prices are going up. Fine. Fine, whatever. We'll pay your new rates. Just saying. We're making more money. I'm sure, we're making more money than your location. Oh, you think so? Oh, I know so. <laughs> kind of how you have to be. And with Elliot, you know, taking his forefront now. Oh, God. Listen, even if Elliot takes over in this uh, head way, you think things are going to change directly? Like, for you. I think my voice will be able to reach him. I think he can be talked to. I think when I say something, I won't be disrespected and put down. So, yeah, things will change. Who knows? Maybe I'll finally actually be able to create something without it falling apart. It'd be nice, Jesus Christ. I basically forefronted that whole expo idea myself and got fucked over it. Yeah. You still want Michael to die? No, I got over it. I'm coming out pretty much on top on this one. Can't be too mad. Besides, uh, it's about people, I guess. You gotta be annoys the fuck out of me. Even if I don't like what he said. I said some bad things too. And I know he's your friend. Yeah. Figured he'd be over here, uh, you know, with you. Yeah, we don't hang out that much. I still have to get my own business done. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's just weird. Yeah, uh, he's talking to Elliot. Something about Elliot wanting to cut the roof off the building. Does he have a permit for that? I, I, I have no idea. I just know that I had an email sent to me recently 
that he was going to cut the top of the building off and that if I wanted any of my paperwork or supplies, I better go there now. But I keep stuff there. I don't even have an email. You don't have an email? How do you do business? In person, like this. Okay. I have an email, Lefty. Why don't you? I don't know. Apparently, I guess you didn't think it was important enough for me to have one. Am I supposed to do everything for you? Yeah, I thought that's what you were here for. No, I'm here to help you. I'm, I'm your friend. I'm not just going to baby you the entire time. I thought I, I'm not trying Make me an email at some point, please. Oh, yeah, I'll make it for you. Do you guys bicker like this often? You don't tell us how to be friends. Fair enough. Fine. <laughs> Just, uh, Spring Bonnie emailed me the specs of your idea, and I'll see if it works. You got it. Anything else? Well, ah, I mean, things are good. I'm glad to see you're expanding. Don't think I haven't noticed all the things you've been buying up. Uh, property, animatronics. Seems like someone might need a construction company to help you out with all that. Yeah, yeah, I got my own. Yeah, but when you got someone who specializes in it, why waste your own time and money retraining? Come to Lefty & Co., where we make dreams come true or some shit. I don't know. You think that weed store is still open? Uh, yeah, don't close to, like, 12. Yeah, that's where I'm going. You want anything? Are you coming back here? Is that a yes? No. Huh? Then why'd you freak out? Because I don't want you... S <sighs> Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's no problem. Uh, do you know when the bus shows back up? Y yeah. At, like, 10. What time is it now? Do I look like I have an eternal clock? What time is it now? It's it's nine. We'll be staying here for a little while. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. I got business to take care of. Just don't break anything. What do you think we are, children? Just don't break anything. Okily dokily. Man, this place is shitty. God damn, j just shut up. <laughs> Man, look at these arcade machines. Yeah, not a new one in sight. Stupid, stupid zoning board. Stupid police. Stupid governor. Telling me I can't cut the top off my building without regulations, without permits, without giving money. It's my building. I should be able to cut it off no matter how many churches it could possibly hit. Jim might be able to help. Jim! I know you're here. <coughs> Wait, I why? I was thinking, uh, Ellie, what, I thought I... I'm kind of uh, in, in a meeting here. Uh, you could, uh, like, assign an appointment later. <laughs> you sound like shit. I feel like shit. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Jim's kind of been feeling under the weather. Uh, we're going to do something tonight, but uh, anyway. Is there something that, that you need? Because Jim's kind of my lawyer. I, I think I've tried to establish this, like, since you've met him. Yeah, yeah he kind of owns me. Uh, but I, I kind of actually have a problem that Jim could fix. See, I'm wanting to redesign our current oh building, gosh. and I wanted to cut the top off. But the zoning board said I cut without a permit, <laughs> and then the police showed up when I had my guy show up. And I'm just running into a bunch of problems. I also want a bunch of documents from when I was a kid, and I don't have any of that stuff. Oh. That's just more of like a family lawyer. I mean, like, I guess, uh, I mean, I do have a few that I could work with, but like... Well, I figured you took I care mean, of uh, Afton's will. I, I figured, you know, he used you for all that. No, well, uh, he... Afton had different stuff for the orphanages and uh, things like that, Elliot. Uh, why, what, what, what exactly do they need? Well, birth certificate, I don't have that. Uh, security number, don't have that. Uh, I can get it, but I, I need other papers to be able to get it. And I figured the orphanage would have it. You know, Afton never gave it to me. You know, after I figured everything out. You know, so I'm, I'm going to need that if I'm going to be running things. Uh, hmm. 
Jim, uh, I know you're dying. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 I'll probably be able to take care of this. Uh, all right, if you say so, I'll get back to work on this. Are you sure you want to handle it? I mean, I was going to pay Jim money. Actual money, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's fine. It's just, you know, a lot of those orphanage things, uh, they kind of get a little construed. Con construed how? It's an orphanage. Uh, for instance, I never found any of my records. Uh, never got anything from them. Uh, the Afton Orphanage, however, was very special. It only housed uh, certain types of people. What do you mean? Well, well some of them, the later ones that, that we created, uh, as you know, Elliot, uh, they, they help children advance themselves. Uh, they, they help children go to college for engineering. They, they help them accomplish their dreams. You know, Most of them go work for NASA or develop their own companies. Some go just to mechanic school and go to repair shops. But where do most of them end up? At Fazbear. Yeah. After it made uh, that first one. <laughs> anyway, for my knowledge, uh, to create prodigies in his own mind. He always uh, told me he, he kept an eye on you. I mean, obviously, you know that. Yeah, Mr. Afton seen me a lot. So I'm sure if I rummage through these boxes at his house, I'll, I'll find your stuff. Oh, you're selling it? <laughs> Well, re revamping it, anyway. I'm, I'm getting uh, ready to. But uh, I haven't looked through everything yet. It's possible that he might have your stuff there. So you don't have to involve lawyers or anyone else. If they start looking at that, it's going to look less like a charity case and more of a... Like a... Induction camp for employees of orphan children. Yeah, 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 probably. So, let... Me and you go take a look at it, huh? Sure, I don't care. Orphanage was the best thing that ever happened to me, John. You seem kind of skittish when it comes to it. My orphanages uh, were a lot different. I didn't have one of those, uh, let's just say, dorm room college experiences like you did. Oh. Why weren't you in one? I wasn't special enough, I guess. I, I made my own problems, Elliot. I, uh, I got in a lot of fights. Uh, I never really tried. I, I went to place to place. Uh, I was just... I just didn't care. I was just, just a kid. When you're a kid, you, you shouldn't have to worry about those things. I just never got a chance to, to do that, I guess. But these orphanages that Afton created, uh, I know the one you were at. So even if we can't find it, but we, we'll be able to, just by going there. Yeah. Now that you mention it, the orphanage was kind of weird. Really? You never really talked about it? Yeah, I actually got to learn a lot of things today about my family. Like a Chris, uh, Elizabeth. Oh, you were talking to Michael? About everything? Oh, yeah. Uh, when I was going to cut the top off my building, that building, they said I couldn't. And I got kind of got a little angry. Michael was trying to tell me about uh, how he wants to do things. And I was like, ah, I'm going to do it. You know, you had your chance. You know, it's my place now. I'm kind of the leader over there. You know, people look up to me for inspiration, probably because I'm so smart. Probably. Talking about smart people? Ah. Why we look for this? Maybe we could talk about that ready unit. Would love for Afton Robotics to pay you a great sum for the blueprints. Or even a collaboration. I could always buy it from you. No. Come on! It's killing me! I, I spent weeks in my lab trying to figure it out. And I, and I have the technology. Now, now, now what on earth... What did you do to keep the brackets in the legs? That, that's the thing that's getting to me. And, and how are you making it able to set up with all the electronics inside of it? I, I tried to make one, but I just can't. And it's bugging me. Don't you want to find your things so you can get this permit? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I've tried and I have failed, Lord I've won and I have lost I've lived and I have loved, Lord Sometimes at such a cost One thing I know The world's been good to me A better place Awaits you'll see Some days I'm so confused, Lord My past gets in my way I need the ones I love, Lord More and more each day to me a better place await you'll see Yeah, I mean, I guess. I built it, I fund it, uh, I send people here uh, for educational purposes. People from, from the orphanage. Yes, yes, when they're 18, I send them here so they can better round their education. And this is where they finish up. Afterward, they have an opportunity to come work for me. Now, now Mr. Afton, I can't thank you enough for promoting me, letting me manage... The, 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 the location and, and I'm just fine doing that I, this, this just seems like too much I, I can't accept it oh of course you can why can't you you can do both can you not you don't think you can manage and go to school no 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 I, I, I think I can handle it sir it's just I'm not, not I'm not used to the generosity I've always kind of been told that uh, that, that I would that I'm just yes yes I know but this, this isn't a handout, son. I want it for you. Not only for you, but a little bit for me. It's a better investment, think about it, if you are more educated. Now, you have done great at managing the restaurants and even the small little robotic repairs you've had to do. But there's only so much you can do with that education level. Now, if you go here, you can do, just do so much more. With me, personally. Now, I've been needing someone to be my gopher, you know. Go for this, go for that. And I want that person to be you. Is there any particular reason? I... I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just see something in you. The way I, I found you next to that animatronic. And the way you've really picked yourself up and worked hard. It just, it reminds me of me. It reminds me of my family. And that's the reason I started the orphanage. And that's the reason I started this building, this college. I feel like everyone should have the opportunity to better themselves. The fortunate, the misfortunate. It's not all the same scope. We're not all from the same branch. Sometimes you need a little help. And that's what I'm offering. And afterward, maybe in a year or two, I can move you in the building with me. Be my gopher or my right hand. But that's up to you. Now, you can go keep managing if you'd like, but... Son, if you go in here, I promise your future at Fazbear will be a bright one. No. I've never had anyone do anything for me. Well, now you got someone. I mean, me and you, we're, we're like we're like family. That's the way I see it. 
This is just the next step. And then there'll be more. And what do you say? Do you want to better yourself? It starts here. I mean, there's so much more in there. Just not engineering. There's lawyers training. There's, there's people learning about how to construct things in space. The technology in there is above all. And you will be learning from the best. I promise. Thank you, sir. I'll go. Well, you better hurry up. And if you don't, I mean, you're going to be late. And if you're late, uh, I mean, they're probably going to kick you out. And, oh, that's a mess of a paperwork. Ooh, I wouldn't want that. Do you want that? No, 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 sir. Well, why don't you go in there and make me proud, then? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. John! Yeah? When I was younger... I... I... Couldn't do... Everything. I had friends, I had help. It hurts me that you never had any of that. I want to be... The person who can. And I know... It might sound weird, but... My boy... You're going to do great things here. I believe that. Y yes, sir. I'll see you when you get home. Don't be too late. Love you, son. <laughs> 